right, we're now going to go over how to assemble and constrain um, the cam and how to do the work planes and all of that other fun stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm doing an assembly, so I'm going to click on assembly. And then the next thing I'm going to do is place my first component, and my first component that I want to put in here is my box. And I put my box down, and it lines like that. And there it is. And I just hit escape. I only want one. Now, the reason why I put this guy down first is everything is being built around this. So I want to make sure that I have it whenever I hit home it's where I want it to be. So if this was oriented some way that you didn't like, you would use this cube here to arrange it. And then I want this to be the front, which it is, but if that wasn't my front, I would move it around. So let's say I want to make my back my front. I would just go up here, right click, and set current view as front. And then if I want to have this view over here be my home view, I would right click and set current view as home. And I want to set fixed to distance because what that does is it um, takes whatever page is on there and allows you to see everything on your screen. Um, if I do fit to view, I could have something like this. And if I set current view as home, fit to view, it takes it back where it fills in the view. But I really don't want that to be my front. I want the other side to be. So I'm going to go ahead and change this on back. I'm going to set that view as my front. And I'm going to set that view as my current view to home. So now that it, it'll... Okay, now the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my box and I am going to ground it. Um, I do that because what it does is it takes this part and it pins it down into place. So if you notice, when I try and click and drag on it, I'm clicking, um, it doesn't move because I've pinned it down. When you start doing assemblies, it's a lot easier to do the assemblies if not every single part is moving. So you pick your core piece that you're assembling around and you ground it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my basic components in. So I'm going over here to place and I want to have my guide and my follower and my handle and I'm going to do the snail cam on this one and I hit open. Oh, how I was able to select those is I pushed down the control as I was clicking and that let me pick which ones I wanted. And then by hitting open, they all get put in at the same time. And I just click and then hit escape and they're all in there. So they have um, different work planes. Some work planes are visible, some work planes aren't visible. We'll talk about how to make that in a little bit. Then the next thing I'm going to do is deal with my simplest pieces first. And um, I go up here to constrain. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mate constraint. And that basically glues two parts together. When you're constraining things, do not be afraid to zoom in and out with uh, the roller on your mouse. Because zooming in helps you get exactly what you want. Which on this case, I want the axle. That's that dotted red line. And I click on that. And I'm going to take that axis and I'm going to mate it with this one. And I have to be careful where I get things. Um, but I want to see that dotted red line. And there it goes. And you heard the snap, but it went into place. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I have this constrained along that axis. But I don't want it to be moving around a whole lot. So I'm going to mate the bottom of this to the top of this. So I go over here to constrain. I'm going to do another mate. I'm doing the bottom of this. And then I hit the shift and push down on the roller so I can rotate it around. 
and zoom in so I make sure I get what I want. I want that right there and I hit OK. And then I go back here to home and make sure it all looks the way I want it to look. And I try and move that and it is not moving. So life is good. The next thing I'm going to constrain is this handle, which needs to go through those holes. So um, you can go over here to free rotate and click on that guy and move him around. Um, I tend to find that more hassle than it's worth, but sometimes it helps to get it a little closer to how you want it. Um, I'm hitting escape. I'm once again going to take the axis of this guy through the axis of this guy. So I click on constrain and I zoom in, make sure I'm getting the axis here. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to zoom in and I want to make that axis right there. And I hit OK. And I back out a little bit and I now have this guy. He can move this way and he can spin. Now, the spinning is good. The moving this way is not so good. So I'm going to do another constraint and I'm going to do another mate because, you know, if it works. I'm going to do that surface there. And I'm going to do this surface here. I'm going to zoom in to make sure I'm getting the surface I want, which is right there. And I'm going to offset it. I'm going to try point 0.1. And um, what you guys aren't seeing is I actually practiced doing this assembly a few times before I recorded it so I could do it smoothly. So if you have to stop and pause and try a couple of times to get it where you want, that's perfectly normal. I just didn't record myself doing that because it makes for a very boring movie. I did the point one and that put a little gap right there. I'm going to click on home and I can't see the back of this. So I'm going to go over here and I want to see um, that right there. I want to make sure it goes the whole way through. So point one looks like it's got it going both ways. See if I did something like point five, see how that doesn't really work. So I'm going to do point 0.1 on the offset and hit OK. And then I'll go back here to home and I now have a handle that spins. So we've got that one in place. The next thing I'm going to do is put the and I'm going to do that in the next video so the videos don't get too long.